Do you want to use Lovable for free? I mean, 100% free without any Lovable subscription, without even paying for the AI models. This video is just for you. Because in this video, we are going to check out this open Lovable. Yes, this is really an open source Lovable clone, which is really working and absolutely free. But if it is totally free, what's the catch? I will tell you everything, but let's see how we can get started with this. So this is a product from Firecrawl team and we can get started by cloning this repository. Let's just copy this command and open the warp. Remember warp is again an AI powered terminal which is really fast and powerful and I can edit it anytime on any place just like I do on any editor. Cool. So let's run this and when this is done then it's going to do the npm install. Nice. You can see open lovable is here. npm install is done and what next? We need to create the .env.local file and before doing anything I can open this into the cursor so that we can see the file structure and everything we want. Right now we have .env.example but we want the .env.local because it's all local thing. And then, first of all, we need to get the E2B API key. Now, what is E2B API key? So, E2B is AI sandbox for deep research and agent. It is providing you the agent on the spot and the computer use agent. A lot of agents are there and this open lovable is using it. So, let's sign up. Once you are here, after signing in, go to the API key, create one and just give the name. Once you have the API key, copy it and paste it here. What next? We need to get the firecrawl.dev API key. Again, we need to sign up here and you can sign up with uh, GitHub. Once you are here inside the firecrawl, click on this to copy this API key and paste it here. Cool. After this, the most important thing here, you need to get one of the API key for the AI. Now, you can use the Entropic, OpenAI, Gemini or Grog. But remember, I promise you that you don't have to pay anything at all not even for the AI model so in this case we are going to use the grok grok with the Q that means it's not the Elon Musk's grok and here once again after login you can simply go click on the create API key once you have that then copy that API key and paste it here that's it that's done all of the configurations are completed let's go to the github repository and see finally it says npm run dev and let's run this so i'll say npm run dev and with that it's a next year's project we are getting localhost 3000 so let's go to the localhost 3000 and here we are having the open lovable cool this is looking really great now since we have used this uh, Grok, Grok provides some of these models, so GPT-5, Kimi K2, Sonnet and Gemini 2.5 Pro. So here, let's just clone any website in second. So let's go to the anthropic.com and I just copy the URL, paste it here. Once you paste it, you get options to how you want the look for this uh, website to be. So let's try the frosted glass effect. Now, this is going to be interesting and let's hit enter and see how this is working on your local just like you have the lovable on the cloud and see how quickly it worked so we can explore the file it has created and the folder everything is exactly similar like we do on the local and finally we can view the generated output so sandbox ready building the react and white with tailwind so finally you can see it has created a nice a website it cloned the entropic homepage but it don't have the images and the icon properly yes this is good but there are some limitations so with this you can actually use the other models like gpt5 if you want to use then use the openai api key sonnet the entropic api key and gemini the gemini api key this is good but the question comes the real question comes do you really need the open source version of these things and a free product? See, anything, if it is free, that means you are the product. So, what you need to do, you need to actually pay for the amazing AI tools. In the era of AI, nothing is going to be absolutely free. So, I must say, if you are going to pay for the AI tools, if you are a developer, then that's going to drastically improve your productivity, save times and 
can achieve more things in less time so guys yes these things are good to try it out good for just playing around but if you are serious if you want to create something cool then please go and get the real original version of lovable cursor or any other ai tools if you have any question related to this open lovable or these kind of things or whether you need to use the free version or the paid version the debate is always on let me know in the comment section and i'm going to participate on that debate so see you in the next video till then goodbye